Okay, looks like I'm live. Hello there, and today I'm going to talk about what you should eat for developing, performing, and maintaining great vision. So, you know, uh, developing kids. So parents, you know, pay attention because, you know, you want to eat, have your kids eat some great foods that are going to help them develop great vision. And then you, the performer who are playing right now, you want to eat the right foods that are going to support your best performances. And for a lifetime, you want to be able to maintain your vision. I want to need to start with a disclaimer. I am not a licensed nutritionist. So this is not nutritional advice per se. And then also you in conjunction with your doctor should know which foods are dangerous for you because some of the foods on this list are connected with food allergies. So that's my disclaimer. This is just going to be a basis for you to do your own research on what works for you. So what I'm going to do though, I'm going to share uh, the 10 different nutrients that you need and the top food in each category. But I've got this whole list. So if you send me an email, I'll send you a PDF of this four page report, which has a lot of different foods that you can choose from. Just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to only get into the top food that has the widest variety of nutrients for you. All right, so actually the first item, so there are 11 things on the list, 10 of them are nutrients, and number one is water. So you really do need to be hydrated. So make sure that you're getting enough water. Uh, you do, do a little research on that. You wanna make sure that, um, you, that you increase your hydration. I know for me, recently through the use of wearable tech, I have increased my hydration by 1.7%, which doesn't sound like much, but over the months, it's really amazing how much you have to drink in order to get your hydration up by 0.1 of a percent. So get to work on that. Be hydrated. I was sort of surprised to find out that I was not as hydrated as I thought thought I was. So anyway, number one, water, because, you know, a pretty significant portion of the fluids that are in your eyes uh, require water. So the number one nutrient that you need is something called astaxanthin. And, uh, you know, I might later when I edit this, I might flash these words up on the screen. But for now, you get the raw video. And your number one source is a tie between seaweed and salmon, right? But, you know, some people are allergic to fish. So, you know, you got to be careful there. Uh, some people are also vegans. And so there you have that. So seaweed or salmon are your, is your top choice. There are, you know, the other seafood choices on there to get your astaxanthin. <clears throat> nutrient number two is omega-3 and you know fish sources are great for that so number one on the list is mackerel right but then if you're looking for a source of um, DHA and EPA among the omega-3s then chia seeds are actually very dense in that so uh, that's your number one um, chia se seed, seeds, nuts, right? So seeds, nuts, and and the like, very good, very good source. I would recommend staying away from supplements necessarily. Try to get your as much of this in your foods as you can. All right, the next one, the next nutrient is anthocyanins right so some different words that maybe you haven't heard before and black raspberries are number one on the list and i'll tell you what i don't like raspberries so i will go and i will want the rest of the list so i can see what else is on there 
because raspberries are just a little too tart for me. The fourth nutrient that you need is vitamin D. And you can get a lot of vitamin D from sun exposure. So if you're a tennis player, that's a good thing. And you know, you might want to go to the beach and get some sun on your whole body, you know, uh, well, most of it anyway. And, um, you know, then fish oils are also a great source of that. So tuna is your number one source in that regard and then if you want one that's not a meat right then you could have cheese well i don't know can you have cheese are you at are you non-dairy but um you know not a lot of sources besides that but then you there are um this is a sometimes a great place to have some supplements because you know i myself have decided to do some supplementing with vitamin d especially in the era of covid um well, here's an interesting fact and you know don't quote me on this somebody said that 80 percent of the people who had gotten covid were deficient in vitamin c so do your own research i'm just telling you what I heard. Um, so you, you figure that one out on your own. But for me, I started supplementing with vitamin D as well as eating a lot of these other foods and getting out in the sun a little bit more. And I had my best winter that I can remember in quite some time not getting sick. And it helps your eyes. The next nutrient is zeaxanthin. Z-E-A. X A N T H I N. And the number one source for that is kale. And I know everybody loves kale. So, um, but you're going to find that leafy, green leafy vegetables are going to be a good source of that. Then, next up is lutein, right? And organic eggs are the best source from organic hens. Well, so I guess the two go together. Um, Major League Baseball players are also taking supplements from marigold flowers. But, you know, that's up to you. I'm, I haven't tried that one yet. <clears throat> All right, next up is lutein and zeaxanthin combined. So apparently... D uh, peas along with dark leafy green vegetables are a great way to get your lutein and zeaxanthin together. All right. Next on the list, bioflavonoids. So citrus fruits are the best place to get your bioflavonoids. And, you know, these are things, some vitamin C products don't necessarily come with bioflavonoids. So you, if you're supplementing, make sure you check your label. You definitely want to get those alongside. Um, you know, one of the classic all-time things that I was taught and many of my generation were taught was eat your carrots, you know, so that you will get the beta carotene that you need. But we didn't know about beta carotene maybe just then but um but again number one source kale and spinach are actually greater sources of the beta carotene i also particularly like sweet potatoes so sweet potatoes are delicious when you cook them right okay so that right there, that completes our list of the top nutrients and one or even two of the top choices. But uh, I've got, a, got this whole list here. Send me an email, infinitevisioncoach at gmail.com. And then just a quick shout out to Sports Ed TV. All right. Um, it's Bill, and I am a senior contributor with Sports Ed TV. So I want to thank Sports Ed TV for uh, publishing this as a blog. And so this will be up published um, in the next few weeks, maybe a month, and then also this video alongside as a support. And you can email me to get the complete list. 
keep in mind, I am not a licensed, I am not a licensed nutritional specialist. So uh, take this all with a grain of salt and do your own research. But uh, I hope that you will reach out and I will send you this PDF via email and include you on my list of future outgoing content. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.